Hello class, I hope you're doing great. And the topic of today's lesson is biblical teachings about soul and the life after death. So we're going to find out what the Bible teaches about the soul and the life after death. Christians often say that they believe in the sanctity of life. When they say this, they mean that they believe there is something special and holy about life. For Christians, human life is different from other kinds of life because in some mysterious way, people share something of the nature of God. The book of Genesis explains how God made Adam and then breathed into his nostrils the breath of life. In the creation story, this did not happen with animals and the plants, but only with the humans. In Genesis, it's also said that people are made in the image of God. It is not completely clear what this means, but Christians usually understand that the Bible teaches that people are in some way reflections of God, and that in human life something can be seen of God himself. The Bible teaches that a soul is immortal, and a body is mortal. Now, the verse 19 in Genesis 3, For you are dust, and to dust you shall return, is a strong evidence that uh, proves that a human body is mortal, and after the death it gets buried in the soil and eventually goes back to dust. The Bible also teaches that um, each person has a soul which does not die when the body and the mind die but lives on after death. It is the part of the person which is judged by God and which can join God forever in heaven. They say that because people have souls, they have to be treated as special. They are different from other species of animals. Christians also believe that the body is a home for the soul. The Bible teaches that when a body that dies gets immediately separated from the soul, it goes to God and God becomes the house for, for the soul. We believe that our souls are connected to Christ and this connection does not get interrupted by death. Asleep in the Bible stands for the death. Jesus raised Lazarus and the girl from the death. The Bible teaches that those who died will raise from the dead when they hear the voice of the archangel and with the trumpet of God and the dead in Christ will rise first. So that's all for today. See you in class again. Bye-bye.